Hello, good morning. This is just a quick YouTube video that I am doing. Now, over the last couple of years, I've been trying to do a number of different YouTube videos about a variation of different things. And some of them have actually been around health because I have helped out my local hospital, which is George Elliott Hospital, with a few medical trials, which they have then hoped to use the information with both Nottingham University and Warwick University in order to put new medication on the market to help people with, unfortunately, health problems that seem to be very common within today's society, one of them being gestational diabetes during pregnancy. I'm not saying you may not have got gestational diabetes in the past during pregnancy, but it's something that's very noticeable now from my, what I've been told from these trials that I've done for them. And also because of things like processed food, fast food, hidden salts, hidden fats, hidden sugars that a lot of people have in their diets that we're not necessarily aware of. Now with myself, for over the last 20 years I've been trying to find out whether or not I have endometriosis or whether or not I have IBS. And both of these conditions can show very similar health problems. A lot of the time as well, a lot of people will say to me when I'm not feeling well, oh, it's your gallbladder. And again, this was something I didn't know a lot about because it's not something that's really talked about. Gallstones, kidney stones, having your gallbladder removed, not looking after your liver correctly. People are aware of things like excessive drinking, which can cause cirrhosis of the liver. But then there's also things like poor diet, which can also potentially cause problems like gallstones due to them growing inside your body and then sadly having to either be removed or having your gallbladder removed. Now, I actually had my gallbladder removed several years ago. This was just after the birth of my first child. Now, you're probably thinking, why on earth am I showing you a slow cooker? And the reason I'm showing a slow cooker is because if I take off the lid, there is some red cabbage in there. Now, I don't know a lot about food and health properties other than what I research online. And a lot of the times people will say, if you change your diet and exercise, it'll help with health problems. That can happen, but then also, unfortunately, there will be the side of things where this can't be a possibility, which is when medicine which is now specially prescribed in Western society, has to take place and be a part of our lives. Sorry, sorry, my screen went a little bit glitchy then. I'm using my old phone at the moment, not a new one. Now I'm going to put the lid back on there and I'm basically going to allow this red cabbage to cook all day in order to break it down. Now one of the things that I have actually been prescribed to take as of last week is this item here. I don't know how to say the word so I'm just showing you the label which is probably not a good idea considering it does actually have my name and medical number on there. So what I'll do is I'll have to add, edit this note to myself. So right, I am showing you the label of what I have actually now been prescribed. And the reason I've been prescribed this is because Although I've not been diagnosed with endometriosis, I've not even been tested for that yet, I have now been assured that I do not actually have IBS. The problem that I actually have is what is called bile acid diarrhoea. 
and it is basically what it says on the tin. My body produces too much bile. Um, this may be because I've had my gallbladder removed. Again, this could have been a health problem that I've had most of my life before the removal of my gallbladder. I don't know. But after I had a test last month to see whether or not it could be bile acid diarrhea that I'm suffering from, this is basically what I have been prescribed. There are a number of websites online where you can get information about bile acid diarrhea and the treatments and the medication, sorry, that you could be put on. I am also on a forum on Facebook. One of the things that I actually started doing before I found out that I had bile acid diarrhea and it was suspected IBS, was that I actually started drinking red cabbage juice water and trying to incorporate things like red cabbage and more brassiacs such as broccoli into my diet. You're probably thinking, why on earth would I be doing this without any medical advice or guidance? The reason for this is because one of the experiments that was done on me by Nottingham and Warwick University was to actually take two substances. One was peas and one 